Hello everyone. Today in this mod, uh, today in this video, we'll be learning the first module of uh, 21 CI 14, and this is a very easy module. We just have a few theoretical, uh, theoretical concepts, which we'll be uh, going through quickly. So uh, that's all in this video, and um, let's get started with the first topic, which is the classification of um, I mean civil engineering systems. Okay. And before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. So th there are some topics which you need to know, like the difference between uh, structural engineering, uh, geotechnical construction hydraulics and water resources and so on okay so let's see what are the differences so um and after that we have the next topic which is building materials so we'll be discussing uh, discussing about the different materials used in the construction okay so the first topic is the uh, structural building uh, building materials uh, structural engineering so what does it mean is uh, they analyze the dams bridges stadium auditorium steel industries power plant and their designs okay those uh, which has to do with the structures that comes under structural engineering the next is the geotechnical engineering so the civil engineers under this uh, engineering will be like uh, they'll be assessing the quality and strength of the soil and the rock for the design and underground structures like tunnels uh, shafts and conducts the third is the construction technology here the planning for construction equipment machinery for the construction project is carried out and hydraulics has to do with the waters like the uh, hydropower plants and dams and the water resource and irrigation uh, uh, engineering so here we have the total discharge of water from various um, areas and from the rainfall catchment area to store the water in a reservoir manage the pollution control and so on next one is the irrigation uh, engineering so it uh, understands the system of irrigation and the command to develop and aspects uh, supply the water to the irrigation land grow crops and so on okay and the transportation engineering uh, it involves the planning and the design construction and operation of the uh, transportation uh, facility and uh, uh, next one is the environmental and uh, sanitary engineering it involves collection of water purification uh, supply for drinking it also involves waste disposal and management the next one is the geographic information system gi is nothing but the satellite things okay like uh, it captures the uh, information of the uh, maps and all and the places on the earth like spatial and non-spatial data to solve complex uh, research planning and the management problems okay this is also another topic of civil engineering okay next one is the earthquake engineering it uh, studies the movement of the lands and uh, its effect on the behavior of buildings and structures and uh, this was about the first topic the scopes of different types of uh, civil engineering and after that we have the building materials the first is the stone a piece of rock which is used in construction is called stone it is mainly used in the preparation of base of the building brick is a small uh, rectangular block typically made of uh, fired or sundried clay what is the material uh, which is used for the trunks uh, from the trunks of the branches of the tree glass is a uh, uh, means hard brittle substance typically transparent made by uh, fusing sand with the soda and lime and cooling rapidly aluminum is the chemical element that is used for the silver uh, coated metal used for especially for the construction cement is a powder of aluminum silica which is used for the construction of buildings and aggregates are the granular material which, uh, which is like sand and uh, granule and the uh, crystal stone and so on and concrete is a construction material composed of cement steel is a kind of material alloy which is made of iron and carbon reinforced cement is the combination of the concrete uh, material as, as well as steel and psc is the pre-stress concrete means when we apply the brick at that time the stress will be uh, there right on the uh, surface to avoid the stress another material is used pre-stressed concrete okay they will be uh, applying the low stress okay and then the smart materials have different properties like they can be changed according to the changes and uh, the final topic is the role of civil engineers in the development of nation like they help in the development of infrastructure and construction of reservoirs and uh, distribute uh, distributaries maintenance of road railways and harbors and uh, waste management as well as the construction of health uh, health centers and so on okay you can write from your own so that's what basically uh, just the introduction of the about the civil engineering the first module and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one